Morning's upon us. Quick cannonball run up the coast to hit the islands, which is fun. But first, before we hit any islands, we're going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I think we locked it, didn't we? How's this guy's form next to me? This is like a whole car park and he just pulled in and parked right next to me. Hey. Oh, hey, Taku. <laughs> what you doing? Trying to get my gear um, settled. Yeah. Figure out which one to take. Take them all. Oh, good morning. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean myself up. They're also clean cut and I feel look like an old piece of leather. So, uh, um, yeah, good morning. So, as you can see, um, Taku and Jocelyn are up. Um, they've got a great channel called Outdoor Chef Life and there's some uh, people or a channel and guys that I've always wanted to meet. Uh, amazing catch and cooks, amazing food, chilled people and definitely um, this is a bit of a trip out for me, so I'm very happy. And uh, look at the size of these dump trucks all moving in. There's a lot of work going on on the ramp. So it's probably best if we just jump in the boat and get going. But yeah, uh, opportunities come up to do like a last minute sort of uh, cannibal run up to the islands. We sort of uh, tentatively booked in something together to do something because I knew they were in New Zealand and we had to look a little bit of a back and forth. And uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to work out. And then at the last minute, they're like, no, nah, we're coming. And I was like, okay, great. And then I was like, the weather is not looking very good here. Because I was trying to escape bad weather in New Zealand. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be all right. It's a bit deceiving, though, because we've got a lot of protection from this uh, big hill here. But once we get out of the, uh, the opening there, it'll get a little lumpier for a bit. But I don't think it's going to be particularly bad. The wind is meant to continue to drop all day. So we should be good. Thank you. Yep. No, Twa, I was just being a Twa and she's like, I bet you they're just like sitting in there having like nice teas and <laughs> getting all ready. And I was like, I'm usually, I'm just such a bum, like in the back of my car, like just bumming around. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Remember the boat key. Let's put this in here now. Right. Thanks for that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so normally I, use, I only have like a little, like a hiking kind of cooker, but I brought the bigger cooker as well. But um, so you have two options. But yeah, chopping board is all pretty basic, so <laughs> I've just got the little chopping board. And that's the pan I've got. Okay, cool. So not massive, but yeah, workable, but yeah. Doing a video with uh, these guys is just really starting to pay off. <laughs> Which one? Is it pork or what have you no, got? What is uh, what's inside? Taro. Like a, oh wow. Yeah, it's just like a little taro bun. Thank you. It's pretty good. Is it? Wow, thank you so much. I love these. Right. So Taku's gonna move the uh, the van, find some parking. I guess we should get this uh, boat fully loaded now. It's weird because I'm not used to having so many people on there. Everything's set up for single. I've got like one cup, one plate. I don't even have plates. <laughs> and I'm realizing that uh, it needs to be a little bit of rejigging <laughs> to fit extra gear on, but it should be fine. All right, let's get it in the water. been last time I was at the ram. Someone looks someone scraped down the whole side of it. Oh well it looks like it did more damage to his stuff than it did mine. <laughs> Whoops. Good one buddy. 
Oh, he crockwise. <laughs> That's good advice, I'd say. Oh, look at this. It's not going to be quite as nice once we get out there, but it's just meant to keep getting better and better. Some serious ramp work going on there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I imagine it's safe to do in here. Where's it? Oh, you want it? Yep. Okay. Oh, you have a Yep. It is, yep. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. But I feel bad for these guys because I'm beating them up in the bad weather. <laughs> It seems a bit rough. I'm so sorry I didn't prepare you for that. I should have told. I said, sort of, "Well, it could be a bit wet and lumpy, but like it's totally oh, safe good. as long as yeah, you guys yeah, are comfortable." Yeah. No, completely know, fine. All good. Well, it's good to know that the uh, the police is at close at hand. So they can know. the water police will come and rescue us. <laughs> he was a nice guy. I guess just mainly the camping gear and stuff. Uh, do you want this bag off? This one here? Yep. Yep. And the knives? Yep. Are they done it? Are they your knives? Yeah. Yep. Is that the one your your mum makes? Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. That's great. Yeah, we'll just see the inside too. Right. Yeah, that kit is awesome. Look at that. That's probably enough to get us started anyway. Unless you want to grab, yeah, we'll spin it around a bit. I see ya. Yeah, I know, it's a weird thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're just putting just a little bit out. <laughs> Should be safe. Just for now. Yeah. It's only going to get washed back in, most likely, from this point on. So. We'll just leave it out there just for a second while we've got everything set up. Does it just be a spot lock? Yeah, so I'll just hit the spot lock. Yes. Did you see and we'll there? keep an eye on it. <laughs> Definitely keep an eye on it. <laughs> I feel a bit like, you know one of those guys, I was saying before to them, I feel like one of those captains, like on, you know, like wavy boats or whatever, going through those inlets and they're putting their, like their crew, like all their, <laughs> their passengers at risk because uh, in the end, totally safe, like in something that, I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty used to it and I'm sure these guys are used to it too but I felt a bit bad because I didn't really give them any kind of a warning or a prep up about what we were about to encounter and it, it turned out to be a little bit rougher than we wanted and then that decision to come from those islands over there to make that that crossing that was a bit rough uh, just when I mean, we came through that gap just over there so I felt a bit bad but we're here now so it's all right because we're on the calm side of the island and it's pretty spectacular 
<laughs> it's funny being with another YouTube guy because he's got the camera out all the time as well. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Cold. Cold. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 just, <laughs> I punish what a punish, eh? So one thing uh, that we did uh, have that was an issue is typically, like I usually have a, uh, a nice tent, but because we threw that tent out that we've been using up until oh, a few months ago out because of all the corroded zippers and the, and the rips in it, I didn't have a tent <laughs> for this journey. But what I did have and I found is the sort of the kids Kmart tent that we were using here and there. And it's not predicted to rain and fingers crossed it doesn't because they might get a little wet, but this is what we're rolling with. The uh, Anko dome tent. So hopefully that should uh, give us some kind of shelter. Hopefully we won't really need it and apart from just uh, a bit of bug protection at night. And it's getting down, oh, it's not that cold, maybe only 15 degrees or something. But we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Look at this, fancy. It's only been used once, I think, in the backyard or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a very fancy tent. I think it costs like $18 or something. <laughs> oh, maybe we should put the other one in. Yeah, here. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how we go here. This is nice and easy actually with two people. I'm not used to this two people of luxury. <laughs> All right. Do you not want to? Yeah, don't don't bother. Think, yeah. If it's not going to rain, I don't think we need it, right? I don't, need it. I don't think it's going to rain. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Oh. Maybe. Oh, okay. If not, I got some cord and things that we may be able to use. For like eighteen dollars or whatever it is, yeah. it's not so bad, really, is it? Like, <laughs> it works. It'll definitely work. Yeah, as long as it doesn't rain, it's going to be yeah. perfect. Here's my. That's my tent for tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally just sleep in the bag. But uh, got us set up in the in a nice tent. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how nice it is, but it's a tent. Camp is set up. Oh, you know what? We do have one uh, little piece of luxury in here somewhere. Just the pillow. Apart from that, we're going super low fi Done. As long as you don't get one wave and then you have a moat. <laughs> <laughs> There's camp. It looks pretty impressive actually. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at up. that. I think it all costs probably a total of like $30. <laughs> nice. Oh, the mats, the sleeping mats are actually quite nice. They're, they're, they're good ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, oh, for those that don't know, this is uh, Taku and Jocelyn. They are Outdoor Chef Life, or a really cool channel. Um, infinitely better cooking than me. <laughs> um, so I'm really looking forward, and because they did all the shopping, see now I got the excuse that I don't really know what's in the esky and the cooler, so I can't really be responsible for the cooking, which is great because I think uh, as long as we catch something, I think we're going to be in for a bit of a treat. But um, we will see. We better catch something first. We so gotta catch something. How hard could it be? 
So I guess we need the remote. We'll get the boat in and we'll... Should we leave the cooler there? Maybe we should get the cooler out. Just yeah, and we'll just put it right up there. I don't usually get it out, but... Um, I think that might be best in this situation. Come on, buddy. Sweet. All right, the cooler actually is going to be quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. How heavy are we talking? Oh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> up in the shade didn't really get ice but I don't think we'll need any of it really we'll be cooking as we go nice right. get this guy out again all right all right should we do that do you want to put some yeah, of that uh, yeah, stuff in here yeah. Can you carry my rod? <laughs> Thank you. Alright. So I guess the aim would be cold trout or like stripy snapper. Uh, yeah. But you never know what you could get really. Like yeah. you know, anything could come along. And if I guess we could throw a squid jig if we see something exciting there as well. Yeah. Dude, I'm just excited to fish here. Yeah. I've no, no. so many videos, like Australian <laughs> fishing videos, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's amazing. And it's a dream come true. Yeah. Oh, right. No, we... Fish water like this. Well, we haven't really even scratched the surface, so... Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have a crack at this, and then maybe we'll get in the water if you can. Yeah. And then go for a bit of a snorkel. That'll be fun too. And then if we get lucky, lucky, we might come across a cray. And if not... Um, We'll definitely be able to shoot something if we, if we haven't caught anything already. But um, it is pretty shallow as well, so just uh, choose something that doesn't go too deep. <laughs> Pop it there for you. <laughs> uh, have a little test cast. Alright, well we're rocking just one of those uh, those Protec lures. The, we had some success on these last trip, our oh, last uh, trip out to the, the furthest I've gone trip. This pretty spectacular area. Oh, got a bit of tip wrap I think. <laughs> Let's try that again. But what's, how much, uh, how do we want to put money on uh, a little uh, wine netting cod being the first fish of the trip? <laughs> Oh, a little looks good through the water, though. Oh, oh, here we go. We got something. <laughs> All right, well, we got a fish. Hui! No, <laughs> little striped snapper. Uh, what are we going to do here? I've got a feeling this rock's going to be a little slipperier than I want it to be, so I've got to be careful with <laughs> the bare feet. So that's a little striped snapper. They're good eating. Good eater, huh? Uh, good eater. Yeah. And I've realised I just didn't bring my pliers, oh, I I actually. <laughs> Thank God you're here. And uh, what do you think for this size? Like, is that a small one or? Uh, that's a. He's still. He's not huge. You know what yeah, I mean? But yeah. uh, but totally keeper. I think these guys only need to be 25, so they can. We could keep him, but I think you know we're probably going to do a little better. Yeah, we're going to. We so we'll let him go. Get you back in. I think we can upgrade, so we'll let him go. Oh, he's going whether I love it or not. Alright, he's swimming off. Nice. <laughs> he knows which direction to go. Oh well. Not a bad start. So definitely you can keep them, they only need to be small. But seeing as we just started, surely we're gonna get something, a bit of an upgrade, so even if we got two or three of them, that'd be a pretty amazing meal, but 
let's uh let's make it at least a little bit more of a challenge for ourselves huh all right i'm hoping i'm finger fingers crossed for you mate all right this little outcrop looks good let's go up here that looks great in fact get up on here See if we can get it past the uh, past the small wine netting cod. And onto a big coral trout that's hiding in that little ditch there. That little point's got your name all over it, Taki. Look at that. <laughs> That little point there looks primo. Get up on there, I reckon. <laughs> well, we got the little wine and cod. These are like normally the plague of uh, the plague of like fishing here. Definitely a cute little fish, but definitely not really what we are after. All right, buddy. We'll get you off. Good looking fish. See you later. <laughs> well, he was about the same size as the lure. Crazy what they'll hit, huh? Well, this little point looks amazing, doesn't it? Should leave that spot for Taku though. Oh, well I guess there's another one right there. That, that spot out there has got to produce, surely. Oh, this one might be a bit hard to get to, actually. Oh, yeah, nah. I'll just be casting. Oh, look, a little shark. Well, if we get a bite here, it's going to look awesome. You know what's nice about this spot, actually? The viz looks better. Hopefully we can get a, a nice little snorkel and dive in and get something good. <laughs> you know what? Things as we're just uh, spending a bit of time at each spot and I think uh, it doesn't seem to be doing it for me now the lure so what I might do is I'll put a squid jig on and just have a little sniff around because our uh, squid would be high on the list of cool things to catch. Let's see what we've got here. Definitely got at least one jig in there. Yeah, there we go. Put this guy on. The leader's a bit thick that I've got on, but whatever. Should still manage. Okay. So if we're struggling with this guy, then it's time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> Alright, this is the guy. He's never failed to catch fish on a tough bite. <laughs> okay, there we go. Anything that touches those hooks is going to get caught, because they are sticky as. <laughs> <laughs> a cool fish, cool looking little fish. Oh, oh we got something here. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this is going to be big. <laughs> Probably rock cod. Let's see what we got. It is a cod. Yeah. With a little uh, wine netting cod or highland green cod. Something, I guess, on a very slow bite, but yeah. Not the aim. Got another little fish here. Don't think it's of any great size. Oh, another stripey. <laughs> do we keep a stripey this time or do we let him go? Yeah. Could it could be like a mixed bag yeah. dinner. You know, maybe we start should start keeping one or two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's this tough. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, you're not a monster stripey, that's for sure. So uh, hold you up. But he'd make size, no problems. They only need to be small, these guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
So not an overly big one, but uh, but he'd easily make. Uh, they only got to be 25, so he'll easily be over that. So oh, do we keep him? Maybe we should let him go. Maybe I'll let him go. Okay. Yeah, you reckon? Uh, yeah, no, I reckon we can we can easily spear one of these guys, but bigger. I reckon. Yeah. Now we'll let him go. Let's be good. This is our good karma. He's just so healthy and happy. Look at him. All right, buddy. Go for it. Did I just make the biggest mistake? We always like to make it a challenge. I think that might, I don't know. I don't think that was a mistake. I think the karma will come back on us and we'll get an even bigger one. But uh, yeah, just switching to the prawn lure didn't, didn't take long to get a couple of fish, did it? So we'll have a couple of more casts and then I guess maybe, yeah, speed fishing time. Um, time to head back, but have a go at this. Might have to bring the uh, 3D cam up, but see Tucker down there. The zone just keeps getting better. It looks like the vis is clearing up a little bit. It's not perfect, but I reckon it's definitely be able to work this area. It seems like it's calmed down quite a bit. Have one more car's gone. <laughs> Surely we've got to be a fish out there. <laughs> Taku. You know we were talking about flathead? <laughs> this is like obviously a tiny one, but yeah. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's a little flatty. <laughs> Well, when there's one flathead, there's usually more, so, and possibly bigger. This could be worth even just walking up and down with uh, the little, oh, I got a little flatty. with the little, uh, like little soft plastic or something, yeah. yeah. All right, buddy. See ya. <laughs> Put the anchor in here. Turn spot lock off, save some battery. Okay, get the old fins, a little bit shabby, but they should do the job for Taku. <laughs> yeah, they've got cracks, that's why I got rid of them. <laughs> but they will do the job. Cut down, and we'll get some gear on. Hopefully, we get a good fish here. But craze would be the best, that'd be the ultimate. But we'll see whatever we can find here. Sorry to make you swim, mate. <laughs> so I've got fins, you can wear those. See if they fit, they might be a bit, I don't know. Hopefully they do the job. Um, and I've got gloves as well, if you want these gloves. Okay. They're just cheapies, but they, you yeah, can just works. if you see a lobster or something. You,
So a little Spanish mackerel around. <laughs> There's some small Spanish around, I just saw. But they're, uh, they've got to be 75. Doesn't make sense that there's not a big coral trout on that little thing. <laughs> it's like a big kind of structure. And <laughs> well, that's all the there's no fish. There's no fish here. I know. There really isn't a lot going on, is there? Yeah. Yeah. My gun's slowly pointing at you. <laughs> Let's not do that. All right, nice. we got one. Nice. Yeah, so I sort of, I sort of thought I saw the antennas, and I was like, yeah. should I go for the grab or should I get another breath? And I was like, no, let's just go for it. <laughs> All, right. All right, we got some dinner, man. <laughs> That's a big deal, I guess, at this stage. Yeah. just quickly getting organized but it's getting uh the sun is getting low but we had a little luck there we did uh eventually it took us a while that uh the initial spear over here didn't really work out there wasn't a whole lot to see very very quiet in the water however we managed to uh find a crayfish at the last minute there and we got the grab there was another one in there as well but we just couldn't get it's just a little too deep but uh, hopefully I got it on camera, but yeah, we managed to get the grab on him. So we're good to go. And we've got something to eat, which is great, but we're also running out of light all of a sudden. So silly me, forgot to put the extra gas canisters in, but we do have the hiking 
uh, stove in here as well, so we'll use that. Let's just pull this in as far as we can, so we don't want to get too wet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, man, they're, they're super spiky. Yeah, these guys are really, really spiky. Cut right there by the tail, and let's see if we twist it. Yeah, I noticed it the way you cut it around the edges. I, I never usually cut that like that. Yeah. I'm assuming that's going to make it a lot easier. Yeah, instead of cutting it in half. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to take out the whole entire tail in one piece, yep. then yeah, it's, it's, it's better to Just cut down, do it like down that. the sides. Yep, down oh, the perfect. sides. It peels off like that. There you go. Yeah. Get all the, all the meat out of there. <laughs> And now I'll just cut it into chunks and then we'll make a beer batter and fry it up. No, a bit of fried after all that uh, hard work there yeah. in the water. It's getting pretty cold. It's pretty cold and uh, pretty quiet actually <laughs> in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, after all that hard work, I'm definitely up for some fried. Twitching. It's still twitching away, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's fresh. Is there usually a lot of fish in this area? Usually more than what, what there was today, yeah. But, um, you know, like I've, I've been here where it has been sort of tough as well. Is my camera even on? Oh, well, yeah. you know it is yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right, man, we'll swap beers. Yeah. I'm happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> Which beer do you want to use? Do you want to use this one or that one for the uh, beer better? Either this way. One. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for doing all this. I'm just sort of, no worries, I'm just watching, up. mate. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you just tell me what to do. I'll go and fetch stuff in the boat. Oh yeah. I had some sesame mm -hmm. seeds. Sesame in there. seeds. Yeah. Just, just uh, That's cool. Just a little uh, something, something. Yeah. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Put it back in a sec. <laughs> salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Have we got the oil up here? Yeah. Yep, cool. Alright, salt and pepper. Alright, let's pull the boat back in. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to get wet. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Thank you. That's all right. Yeah, we'll just season season this guy up. Oh, they have a good day in there. Udon. Hot enough, I think. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Yeah, slowly, maybe. Just gonna apply wind blocks here. We're, uh, we're finding that the burner's just not getting it going. We've had a little bit of wind breakage. Here we go, though. It's 
down there. Hey. There we go. So we're gonna have the udon, which is cooking here, with the curry. Let's see if we can put those up there so they don't fall, which we can't. Yeah, I think fried lobster today is gonna be, yeah. It's definitely going to tick the box. <laughs> something party after that cold swim. And there's still plenty because we've got that bit, we just don't want the oil to cool down, but we've also got all of that in there, so do a few, maybe three batches. This is going to be great. Straight in the hot water. Mm. Multi-use hot water. Yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought that was gonna stay? <laughs> Don't touch. <laughs> I find it's always like a struggle, just cooking like this in general, like on the beach when you yeah. don't have everything set up. Yeah. You're just always running back and forward. Things just aren't where you need them. <laughs> There's no bench space. <laughs> yeah. The no bench space is probably like it's the most tricky, difficult. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and then it, it, yeah, and you're dealing with the bucket. If it's not on the bench, it's in the sand. Yeah, which is a problem. Taku just tried one, and it was oh, good. Wow. <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> Real good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Ooh, there's chunks of potatoes in here. <laughs> Also made some stock as well, some dashi. Make sure it's mixed up. Sesame is not good. And what did you just pop on the top there? That's just seaweed. It's just a nori, yeah, seaweed, like a seaweed yep. flakes. Yep. It's called owl nori. Looks good. Yeah. It okay. smells delicious. Shall we that? No, I'm very much looking forward to eating it. Is it right? All right, guys, well, here it is. We got dinner. And it looks great. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> yeah, no. Whipped it up. Yeah, really I know. Well. Like, I did, I did very little. And uh, I'm going to struggle to eat this with one hand while holding this uh, phone. I can help the you. Phone. Let me, yeah, take yeah, a bite you take a I'll bite and I'll... Uh, okay, here we go. Look at that. Ooh, udon. Mm, nice noodle pool. It looks delicious. I'm actually I'm jealous good. that you're yeah. eating already. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Wow. <laughs> all right, that's it. Mm. I'm going to go a piece of lobster. Oh, that's all right. I can. Mm. Or maybe I can't. Here. Yeah, hell. I'll go lobster or crayfish. Mm. Wow. It's so good. <laughs> thank you so much, Taku. You're welcome. My pleasure, man. No, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for bringing us out here. Mm. I'm just glad you guys made it. Like I felt, I felt bad that did we had a rocky start. Actually, it's been a pretty like a, it's been a little rocky all the way through. Actually, hasn't it? Like we just barely found something, but I think this makes it very much all worth it. Yeah, so no yeah. problems at all. Yeah. yeah, no, thank you for Certainly. coming, and thank you for cooking. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. Let's try the noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, look at those.
Mm. Yeah. That curry's great. That's Dude, great. don't you can't get in there with those yeah. those sandy feet. <laughs> That's funny. You should actually come out and have a look at the stars. They're pretty crazy tonight. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that? I did <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> they just go zoom. <laughs>